Hello everyone, this is my 14 inch Rockwell lathe and I had some requests for a few different items on here that's missing, they wanted to see what they look like so I figured I'd make a quick video of that uh, Sorry about the lighting, I tried using the lighting on the camera but it was showing the glare, like somebody asked to see this, this tag here and you couldn't read it so I figured if I use that light it works better so you'll see dark spots, but I'll quickly move the light in to give you. So the first thing I wanted to show was the, the feed lever. And it looks like that. So if yours is missing, that's what it looks like. And I give a little bit of thought at how I would make one if it was completely missing. And if you would get like an inch and a quarter bar stock, or inch and an eighth if you could find it, square stock. What you could do is round one of the corners, which you'll be able to see here in a second when I show, show the other side. And then just simply drill and tap it for a handle. Just, you know, you wouldn't need this part on there. The handle would screw right up into here, and I believe that would work pretty good. Now let me show you from the side view so you see what I'm talking about. i got to move this light. Okay, maybe... Yeah, now you can see it. So just imagine this this is a piece of square bar stock and you've taken one corner and rounded it to act as a cam and drilled your hole off center. And you're going to need a pin too. And the pin has a tapped set screw hole in it. And that set screw tightens down on a screw that goes through it and screws into the piece that's right here. I'll show you that it here in a second. So that's how that looks. I'll give you, I already give you this measurement here. But let me try and give you a measurement that'll help you doing, from doing some figuring. If I can find it here. I want to get to this. Where am I at? There we go. I want to try to give you a measurement from here, from the end of the block to the center of that pin. That's hard to do by looking at the camera, people. I think it's a half inch. Pretty darn close it. Yeah, about a half inch to the center of that hole. So you want to drill your, your square block a half inch from that edge, drill it through, and then round this corner. No a slot in it here to fit over your nub that sticks out. Which all you have to do is measure your nub for that, but it looks like it's about 7 16 slot. So, let me move my light again. Now, you see how. No, you won't see how because you can't see it because of the lighting. Maybe now you see it. But that screw goes through that pin. It's not threaded into that pin. It just passes through this pin here on the side. So there's just a hole drilled this way and then this hole and this set screw tightens up on that screw and keeps it from backing off. If you do not put that set screw in, every time you pull on this, it backs that screw off because I did not know that set screw was there. It was so gummed up with junk and neither did the person before me. They had washers jammed behind here so it would engage. And I was like, why don't, you, why don't you just adjust that screw? So I adjusted the screw, pulled on it, and I was like, hey, that's good. Used it about three or four times in a row, and then it got loose again. That's because the screw was backing out every time you pull that thing. So then I took it apart, and I said, I'm going to figure this thing out. Took it apart to clean it up, and then that's when I found that set screw on the side. And I was like, aha, I know what that's for. So hopefully that gives you enough to recreate that. That's missing. Say two and a quarter that way. And like I said, about an inch and an eighth square block. You probably have to mill that down. Probably only going to readily find an inch and a half. But that shouldn't be that big of a deal. Your hand wheels here are identical for here and here. They are seven inch. Although I would almost recommend going with a nine inch on your carriage. But that's probably user preference. I would sooner have a bigger one. Make, makes, makes turning it a little bit 
more accurate because I like to put a lot of corner radiuses on by hand. Like if I'm just on a burr break after turning something down. I've got pretty pretty good at the one I use at work. This in here is a little awkward because it's just the handle's kind of small on it and it doesn't give you as accurate as a turn when you try to swing a little burr break. But that would be the original size of your handles. And this here just pretty much if it's messing you just pretty much make it whatever you want really to be honest with you. But I'll show you the size of it. Looks like uh, 2.9375, 15 sixteenths would be about the size of that. Of course, this one's a little smaller if it's missing. It's a two and seven sixteenths on that. Oh, uh, there's what the original knob looked like on the switch. In case it happens to be missing. Knobs on here, mine was missing. I had to recreate just knobs. I didn't copy anything. I said, I'll just make a knob that works. And it works. Made it out of Nolitron. All right, now let me get the light position for the uh, thread chart. This is what somebody else asked about. All right, so over here, you got A, B, C, D, and E slots pretty good view of that pretty easy to remember that and over here you have your chart you can see how it points to each slot so let me get a nice steady close-up view of that so you could screenshot it Do it again with the lighting at a different angle, just in case something funky happens when H. This sucker's hot too. When I upload it, maybe you can see this view and you'll be able to see the other one. I just had a really good view of it there for a second. All right, how about there? Might be a little hard to read the thousands. Let me zoom in here. And I'm carefully looking at shoulder where I can see everything, so I think we should be good. Once again, there's the whole thing. Uh, that's what that looks like. I showed this in another video. I'll go ahead and show it now. If you're missing that, the best thing I could tell you is to get an RPM gauge. Put something on here, a temporary uh, plate, and just pick various speeds. You know, pick your slow speed, obviously, and your highest speed. And wherever this line falls, put a dot, and then right beside it. And then once you get all the spacing figured out, then you can recreate on a printer some sort of a sticky label, maybe to stick there. But you can see how they got it laid out: 40, 210. And the way this works is for this side, you look at the whatever's touching on the red line, but the opposite side, you drop down and use the left, the right side of the line. So in other words, the right side of this red mark will be, just be touching 150, and it'll be about 150. It's kind of surprised how accurate it is. I made a video on adjusting that. That's, adjusting that, that's when I learned how accurate it was. Kind of surprised, like I said. So, and the last thing that may be missing is the oil chart, which is, I think it's in the book. But I'll go ahead and show you the tag it's on here, if I can get this light to cooperate. Like I said, I can't use the camera light, because all you see is a big bright light in the middle. All right, let me think how to do this. Your prob that might, I don't know, maybe that'll zoom in, so I may hold it here. Screenshot that, and maybe you could zoom in. Let me try a different angle with the light. Hey, that might be better. I'm going to go back and do the same angle on the uh, feed chart over there. Now let me zoom in on it. Let me 
go down here and zoom in on that. Zoom in on that. That should should give you enough to screenshot it and write everything down and make a label up on a printer. Now let me go over here and get that same lighting angle. Move this out of the way. There's that notorious glare. There we go. Try this again. And this. So that should be neat what you need to recreate any of the major mis missing information or knobs on this thing. So anyways, I uh, hope that's helped you out. Thanks for watching.